Rock Play in uh, Orange County, California. It's um, a white clay with a white stoneware with uh, sand in it. And uh, for sinks, you need to have sand or grog in the clay in order to uh, protect against thermal shock when uh, the sink is all done. Uh, I've wedged some of this up. I use a bag and a half, which is about 35 pounds of clay. And I'm going to show you the wedging process. Make sure your table's real clean. And that's about a half a bag. So the process I use is a, a Japanese method where we move the clay by lifting up. The left hand pushes softly down and we're turning. So we're actually spinning the clay inside out. Now I put a little, I have a little piece of clay here that's uh, got some food coloring in it. I'm going to put that right there so you can see what happens to the clay. As you press down it gets wider and slowly it's going to work its way around and spread out more because of the pressure. And now it's going inside. Let's see if it reappears. Mm -hmm. This is a very gentle process actually. So I'm turning this up about 33 degrees and pushing down gently with my left hand mainly controlling it with my right. They say it takes about two years to learn how to wedge well. And with the new clays, because they're pugged with the airs, a lot of people don't do it. There's some of that clay showing up right there. See how it's spread out. It's coming out. But the truth is that if you wedge, you help align the particles. There's some of that clay right there. You can see it's mixed. And when you're done, you just roll it and flip. So there's my three pieces of clay. I'm going to take off about a third of this clay for the bottom. So let's pull out and throw.